Um, when we go to Chinatown, people ask, where is a good place to eat? So, Shanghai Cafe. And I basically share this with people, if they're foodies, uh, if they're on a budget. But it's also because it is my favorite restaurant in New York. You order the number two. It's the mini steamed dumplings. And if people haven't had these before, I have to share how to, to do it. So they give you the flat spoon, and then they give you a soy ginger sauce. Some people like it, some people don't. I do, so I dip it in there. It's like a, a steam basket with eight dumplings in there, and they're really tender, so you can't just pick it up. What you have to do is take your chopstick and pick it up from the very top and plop it right into the spoon. And then I tell people, I'm like, remember this, this is the most important part. Dig a hole into it, and then slurp the soup out. It's not very elegant. And then you have to squish it and slurp it out some more. And then you can eat it because if you bite right into it, you'll get soup all over you. I promise people it is the best thing that they will eat in New York. So my favorite secret spot in New York is maybe not a secret to many New Yorkers, but especially someone visiting New York, they do not know about Ample Hills Creamery. This ice cream will change you be a different person after you eat this ice cream. It's the best ice cream in New York. There's one right by Prospect Park in Brooklyn, and I will tell people it is the best ice cream in the country, the world, and especially if you've not been to New York, Ample Hills Creamery is number one, and ice cream is my number one, so I have to make sure they all know about that place. Um, as far as the Giuliana's versus Grimaldi's uh, argument, I've tried both, and I, I've, I, I feel like the quality can change depending on the day. However, if you're going to go purely from a spiritual standpoint, I think Giuliana's is the way to go because well, there's, there's the whole Pizza Wars story that uh, Patsy Grimaldi opened Grimaldi's back in the 70s after training under uh, Lombardi, Giuliano Lombardi, I believe his name was, who opened Lombardi's in 1905. And uh, he was getting older in age in the 1990s and he decided to sell uh, Grimaldi's to an investor who wanted to franchise it. So now there's a Grimaldi's in Vegas, there's a Grimaldi's in uh, San Francisco or whatever. And Patsy was supposed to, he had an agreement that he was going to come in and train the new chefs and do some quality control until he told the investor that uh, the, the quality was suffering and he should shape up, which of course this guy wasn't very happy about. So he said, get out of here. Also, Patsy felt slighted and he decided, oh yeah, I'm going to open up another pizzeria right next door. So he originally called his pizzeria Grimaldi's also, but he got sued because the guy said, well, I, I bought the business from you. Part of what I bought was, was the, um, the name. And the judge said, yeah, you got to change it. So that's why his now is Juliana's, is named after his mom.